how to derive the standard form of the equation of a parabola by distance formula. Before that, let me show you how to construct a parabola. Let's say this is a given line, and let us choose a point that is not on the given line. Now let us draw a vertical line from the, this point to our given line, and then choose our midpoint, so that this distance is equal to this distance. Now let us choose another point, showing the same parameter. So this distance is the same as this distance. Okay, another point. Also notice that as we move the vertical line along this given line, we form a right angle. So let's choose more points. And then tracing all the points, we can now have a parabola. So a parabola is a collection of all points equidistant from a fixed point and a fixed line. This fixed point is called the focus, and this fixed line is called the directrix. So what we're going to do now is to set up an equation that will represent all the coordinates on this upward-facing parabola. So let us label some points. Let's say this point V is HK. So therefore, we can have this as H and this one is K. We've also shown earlier that this distance is the same as this distance. Let us use C to represent that distance. Now, how do we get the coordinates of our point F or our focus here? Notice that if this is K here, and we know that this is distance C, Therefore, this y-coordinate here would give us k plus c. And the y-intercept here of our directrix would give us k minus c. So from this setup, we can say that the coordinates of our focus here would be h and then k plus c. Now to represent a point on the parabola, let us use xy. So let's say this is xy. Therefore, this would be your x and this is y. Now, notice also that we have um, a point on the directrix that is right across our point on the parabola. Okay, how do we identify the coordinates of this point? So, if you uh, read this one, it would give us, that would be x and then k minus c. Let's say this point is point h. Let us now use distance formula to identify how far apart these points are. So, let us first get the distance of point p from point F. So let's say this is our X sub 2 and then this is Y sub 2. This is X sub 1 and this is Y sub 1. So following our formula, let's say um, this distance would be distance 1 and that would be equal to the square root of. So by substitution, we can say that this would be x minus h squared plus y minus and then k plus c squared. Now, how do we get the distance of the point P to point H? Again, let us assume that this is our x sub 2. This is y sub 2. This is our x sub 1 and this is y sub 1. So let's say this would be our distance 2. So this would be the square root of 
x minus x squared plus y minus k minus c and then squared. Since d1 and d2 are equal, we can now work out on this equation. To remove the square root, we can square both sides. Therefore, we can have x minus h squared plus distribute the negative sign here so we can have y minus k minus c and squared is equal to x minus x squared that would be 0 squared and this would be y minus k plus c squared. Notice that for these two terms that we have here, we are doing square of a trinomial. So if you can recall um, special products, we can easily answer this. Therefore, this would be x minus h parenthesis squared plus this would be y squared plus k squared plus c squared minus 2ky minus 2cy plus 2ck is equal to this would be y squared plus k squared plus c squared minus 2ky plus 2cy minus 2ck. Let us now simplify. y squared can be cancelled. k squared also. c squared. This is because of transposition. If you, you transpose y squared to the left side, that would give us y squared minus y squared. So that would be 0. Okay. Negative 2ky would also be cancelled. Okay, so what's left that we need to work out would be the squared quantity of x minus h minus 2cy plus 2ck is equal to 2cy minus 2ck. Now let us trans transpose the two terms to the right side. So I would be... Now let us transpose these two terms to the right side. So I have x minus h squared is equal to 2cy minus 2ck plus 2cy minus 2ck. Continuing the process, we can have the squared quantity of x minus h squared is equal to so you can see 4c is uh, a common factor. So we can have this as 4c and then y minus k. This is now the standard form of the equation of a parabola with upward opening, where hk is the vertex of the parabola.